This is Mac Pro. If you like mac and cheese, there's simply nothing greater. <laughs> Get it? Greater? But if you don't like to be anchored to your desk, then there is this, the new 16-inch MacBook Pro. Compared to the extinct 15.4-inch MacBook Pro, it has 0.6-inch bigger display with slightly higher pixel density, higher resolution, and smaller bezels. It is 0.8mm thicker, 8mm wider, 5mm deeper, and almost an iPhone 6 heavier. It has the new keyboard with designated escape key and the Touch ID button is separated from the gimmick bar. The one I have here is specked out in every way except for the storage and it costs $4,300. So the question is... Is it any good? And here it is! The MacBook Pro comes in this nicely designed box. Inside the box we're greeted with MacBook Pro itself, USB-C to USB-C cable, some papers, stickers and the new 96 watt charger. This MacBook Pro has 2.4 GHz 8-core processor, 64GB of RAM, 8GB Radeon Pro 5500M graphics processor and incredibly fast internal storage. But how much faster is it compared to my 2018 MacBook Pro and my 2017 18-core monster iMac Pro? Let's find out. When it comes to Geekbench 5, 16-inch MacBook Pro performs significantly better than 2018 MacBook Pro. Same thing goes for the compute test as well. When we switch to Intel GPU, 16-inch MacBook Pro performs slightly better than 2018 MacBook Pro. Nothing surprising is happening during Cinebench test, but when it comes to Graphic Bench test, MacBook Pro performs better than the iMac during the on-screen test. When it comes to performance, I'm going to use the same Final Cut Pro 10 project file that I used in my previous MacBook Pro review so that we can not only see this difference, the performance difference, but we can also see the metal-based performance difference the new Final Cut Pro 10 offers iMac Pro finished rendering a complicated 7 minute 25 second project in 4 minutes and 12 seconds. 16 inch MacBook Pro finished the same project in 14 minutes and 56 seconds. 2018 MacBook Pro finished it in 17 minutes and 40 seconds. By the way, it is really impressive to see that the new Final Cut Pro 10 performed so much better after the update. As you can see here, 2018 MacBook Pro gained 5, iMac Pro gained 36% performance increase iMac Pro exported the project to ProRes 422 in 58 seconds, 16-inch MacBook Pro in 1 minute and 21 seconds, 2018 MacBook Pro in 1 minute and 50 seconds. By the way, before the Final Cut update, the same project used to take 2 minutes and 5 seconds to be exported from iMac Pro iMac Pro exported the project to an almost 9GB H.264 MOV file using the compressor app in 11 minutes and 1 second, 16-inch MacBook Pro in 12 minutes and 21 seconds, 2018 MacBook Pro in 15 minutes and 39 seconds. First of all, great job Apple, the updated Final Cut Pro performs much better. Secondly, as you can see, the new MacBook Pro doesn't have a problem with the heat, doesn't have thermal throttling. Or does it? Now let's test it this way. I have an app called Fan Control and using Fan Control I can blast the fans to their maximum speed keeping the laptop as cool as possible. Watch what happens. One, two, three. Suddenly the 2018 MacBook Pro, which is the older one, renders 5 minutes faster which is 28% performance increase. Yes, with a simple fan trick, 2018 MacBook Pro performs better than 2019 MacBook Pro. And now I know what you're thinking. Let's do the same trick with the 2019 MacBook Pro, right? Let's do it. One, two, three. 2019 MacBook Pro finishes the same task in 9 minutes and 5 seconds, which is almost 40% performance increase. Now, why stop there? Now let's do the same trick with the 18-core Monster iMac Pro. 18-core iMac Pro finishes the same task in... Drumroll please. 4 minutes and 10 seconds. 
almost exactly the same time. So what does this mean? This means even though 2019 MacBook Pros heat management is much better than 2018 or the previous MacBook Pros, it is still there. So not always, but when you push your laptop to its limits, someone who is in a colder room is gonna get a better performance compared to someone who is sitting in a hotter room. But I have to remind you that this happens when you're pushing the laptop to its limits. Now when it comes to turning these machines into hacking dolls and running PUBG, this happens. With 16 inch MacBook Pro when everything is set to ultra you can get 70 to 80 frames per second. That number falls down to 30 to 40 frames per second with 2018 MacBook Pro. Due to its higher resolution if you play PUBG in ultra mode on iMac Pro you get around 60 frames per second. Now let's talk about the new keyboard. This may be just me, my wife or the regular tidy people that I know that live around me. We never had any problems with the older butterfly mechanism the MacBook Pros had. But thanks to some people who I'm guessing eat pizza over their laptop because that's how they portrayed in Hollywood movies. I mean, they're, they're definitely doing something. They're definitely doing something. Apple had to go back to this old, but they call it new butterfly mechanism. They feel as if you're trying to fix your grandma's internet and you're typing on her old Fujitsu computer. Thanks, I hate it. The new 16 inch MacBook Pro has high fidelity six speaker sound system that also has force cancelling woofers and they actually work. Force cancelling system simply kills the vibration that is caused by the speakers and as you can see the 2018 MacBook on the left moves the things on it while nothing happens on the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now let's test out Dolby Atmos for this. Put your headphones on and I'm going to record binaural audio using this special headphones I have here. The 16-inch MacBook Pro definitely gives a surround sound experience where 2018 MacBook Pro feels more stereo than surround. Let's see what happens when we play some music. The new MacBook definitely has a fuller and more balanced sound compared to the older MacBook Pro. It is definitely more pleasing to the ears and I like it. Now let's check out the beamforming microphones. Now let's test the microphones. Now let's test the microphones. Now let's test the microphones. MacBook's mics definitely perform better than 2018 MacBook Pro. I actually may leave my voiceover mic at home and use MacBook Pro while I'm away. It may get the job done. Thanks to its new 100 watt hour battery, the new MacBook Pro lasts longer than previous MacBook Pros and you can feel it. And not just that, when this computer is in sleep mode, it drains less compared to the older ones as well. Now let's talk about the gimmick bar. It is something you have to pay attention. It is something you have to remember that it is there because you don't really look at the keyboard as you're typing, but you can add some really nice functions there and you can use it if you remember that it exists. Just like the previous ones, it has the four USB type C ports and they forgot to remove the headphone jack. There's one thing I don't understand and that is the 720p FaceTime HD camera. 
This is a Chromebook and it has 1.2 megapixel camera on it and it has the portrait mode. You can use Google's beautiful computational photography and get a photo like this. So we have this giant screen that it uses as a soft light and everything. But still the camera on it is just so bad. I think it's time we have the true depth camera system on top of these devices. Just imagine the capabilities of the true depth camera combined with the processing power of this laptop or a desktop. This MacBook Pro is simply the best MacBook Pro out there and the fact that you can get up to 8TB of storage is just great. It feels like Apple finally fine-tuned this Pro laptop where it purrs like a kitten on regular use and turns into a monster when you need the performance. Needless to say, this still is nowhere near replacing my iMac or my imaginary Mac Pro, but just think about it. I can simply grab my MacBook and use the iPad as the secondary screen and record voiceover without ever needing my beloved Rode microphone. And this is what laptops are all about. It's all about being mobile and still getting stuff done. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please. Hit that subscribe button, I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about MacBook Pro, 16 inch MacBook Pro in the comment section below. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and oh shakala.